All right, man, let's talk about your guitars. What you got going on here today? All right, well, we got the um, a, a fine assortment of Paul Reed Smiths, as you can see from my, from my electric guitars. Very nice. And uh, we'll start off with my main one. This is the, uh, the 245, the SC245, which is actually a, a scaled down version of the uh, of the 250 single cut gotcha and uh, yeah this is this is my main workhorse it really um, it's just got something something special you know some guitars just kind of uh, sit real nice in a mix and this right. is definitely definitely for Alter Bridge this is this is the one this is the mule as I like to call it this is actually a just a, um, a McCarty but okay. uh, I got the government mule sticker there you go um, Hale Warren Haynes um, <laughs> yeah uh, uh, um, but yeah this is this is actually the in the Drop B, okay. tuning B flat, technically. Sure. Another custom. Another Seymour Duncan custom, custom with the uh, uh, Tone Pro bridge. Okay. Actually, they all got Tone Pro Tone Pro bridges on them. Uh, they resonate real nicely. Awesome. Real nice. This um, one's taking a little beating. Yeah. Yeah. How, how does all that come about? <laughs> is oh, that you live know, show fun? Yeah, it's just you know. Yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> this is the uh, the PRS Mira. Okay. And this is um, it's just a great. And this is all stock. Didn't, yeah. uh, I believe we've got a Tone Pro in here as well, but uh, the pickups are stock. Um, and it's just a great straight up rock and roll guitar. You know, gotcha. kind of in the family of like SGs, Juniors, things like that. It's just got a real tight mid range, um, yeah. real throaty. And uh, it's actually 24 frets. Oh, nice. Which uh, bonus? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting used to that. Sometimes I'll be I'll be off by a uh, half step. I'll be not looking. That's and I'll be like, why that's, does it sound so horrible? Right. Oh yeah, because my my hand hasn't gotten used to the addition. Right. I'm frets. the same way when I go to a 22 fret guitar. Okay. I'm like, oh, I'm on the wrong spot. <laughs> right. Did you ever remember the uh, the Washburn with like? Oh, the 30s? third. Yeah, those were pretty useless. <laughs> if you turned your pinky nail sideways, you could maybe use it. Right. You know? Right. But right. yeah, that's yeah. That's I know because they're so they're tiny, so close. It's I mean, not even. I know. I remember when it first came out. Yeah. I had friends that were like, "Oh man, I got to get one of those." Yeah, trust I me. I wanted one, one like, too, and I was, I was like, like, "Eh." Ground control, which can, which is the, uh, which basically I switched my, my, my effects uh, in the rack, and okay. which I actually don't use many of anymore. But it's actually, I'm using it to switch channels on my Herbert. Um, oh, you got a Herbert? Sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a, I got a Herbert, and uh, so that's the ground control, and then over here we have the. Uh, the pedal board, um, the Boss Tuner, which is great because you can see it in the dark, um, mm -hmm. very simple. Just integrated the Super Octave in there uh, for the beginning of um, Slip to the Void, you know, da -na, na na just uh, in, the, in the studio I believe we tuned down to C, wow. and I just don't have any guitars that, for the time being that right. did that, so I went ahead and just used that and kick it in and, and give it that depth. Um, got a, an old full-tone Clyde pedal. This is one of the first ones. I bought this back in the mid-90s. Nice. Um, they're great sounding wah-wah pedals. Um, another full-tone. As you can tell, I like full-tone sure. a lot. Deja Vibe, which is, this is actually Mark's, which I yeah. adopted. Um, <laughs> Borrowed permanently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then the full-tone Ultimate Octave, yep. which another pedal I've had since the mid-90s. Um, Got that Hendrixy thing going. For mm -hmm. So this is the uh, this is the amp, and right. uh, I'm, I've kind of stripped it down recently. Um, I'm finding that the, the Herbert is is sitting really well with with Mark's sound. I mean that's mm -hmm. been the challenge in this band is sure. finding something that doesn't walk on his sound and fills up the fills yeah. up the other frequencies. And recently we were in um, Germany, and Peter from Diesel. Mm -hmm. Offer to swing by and, and retube it and just take a look at it because since I, I got it a few years ago, I hadn't had it serviced or anything. So he spent an afternoon just sure. fine tuning the thing and it was amazing what a difference it made. I mean, it was it was sounded like a brand new amp. Uh, nice. So just it's it's a fantastic. Yeah. Take note of those settings. I have a Herbert. I'm gonna Do copy them. <laughs> <laughs> Go dial in some miles. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <Sick>. <laughs>